Good morning friends. While discussing the topic of negligence, I told you regarding contributor negligence and uh, composite negligence and also their advantages as differences. So, for example, if A is going on a motorcycle and uh, if uh, suddenly some he sees somebody boy coming onto the road uh, and he, he swerves the vehicle to another side and at the same time some other person negligently comes and hits him then even though the other person received injuries even though he files a case now a can say he has contributed to the negligence and uh, the compensation will be reduced if at all even the compensation will be awarded but it will be reduced. That means he has also contributed his part to the incident of so-called negligence and our responsibility will be reduced. But Supreme Court very recently in a case of, uh, okay, the, uh, held, the, sorry, I'm sorry, Kerala High Court. Kerala High Court uh, held that motor vehicle compensation cannot be reduced saying that the pillion rider did not wear the helmet. So the lower court held that uh, since the pillion rider was not wearing the helmet he con his contributor negligence is there therefore the amount was reduced now the high court said that no it should not happen right so you can read it as the case of uh, national insurance company limited kochi versus uh, kadeja musliyar and five others in uh, mv compensation maca number 1433 by 2010 Right, Honorable Justice uh, P. V. Kunhi Krishnan, Kerala Kunhi Krishnan held that so the compensation cannot be reduced. Uh, so when the pillion driver, the rider, did not wear the helmet, this is after all a violation under Section 129 of the M. E. Act. We'll tell, we'll commit to point to that later. Right. So here, uh, the Kerala High Court uh, faced uh, with an interesting question of law whether the tribunal that means motor vehicle side claims tribunal so can can reduce the whether the tribunal can reduce the compensation payable on a motorcycle accident if the pillion rider was uh, not having the helmet so very recently i told you that in chhattisgarh the driver of the vehicle together with the pillion rider also should wear the helmet if not they will be uh, charged with that it happened when that uh, woman was pregnant uh, this man was uh, uh, taken out from the vehicle he was taken to the police station this woman being pregnant she has to walk a distance of about three kilometers or so to the police station where they were kept for two hours and later released so it shows the apathy on the part of police uh, in my previous videos i have done it also in certain uh, states uh, helmet by pillion right is also compulsory no doubt according to section 129 i will of the mv act uh, helmet is a compulsory but if you don't wear helmet what happens it is a violation some people will fine you in Andhra Pradesh we see daily people not at all wearing the helmet even they don't wear the mask even it's a second in the surge of second wave of covid right now so our people are so reluctant but we can't do anything but anyway here the point is whether the motor claims tribunal can reduce the compensation holding that the other person was not wearing the helmet at the time of accident. So now let's go into the details of the case. On 8-8-2007, 8-8-2007 at about 10.30 a.m. So Mr. Radha Krishnan, he is the plaintiff, he is the school driver of a scooter. He along with his father who was sitting in the pillion seat, he was driving his motorcycle right carrying his father uh, he, he was going he says he was going at a moderate speed and a tata sumo came in the opposite direction with an uncontrollable speed and dashed him as a result of which he was thrown out and his father fell down sustained serious injuries and he died right this is the case anyway tata sumo driver was short treated under 304a and 279 ips or things like that so now they claimed for the compensation. Here, National Insurance Company held that the father was not wearing the helmet. If he had worn the helmet, definitely he should not have received any injury. So his contribution, he, is, he has exhibited the so-called contributory negligence and the tribunal accepted the same. Even though an amount of 33,3700 was awarded as compensation, 
20% was reduced as the fault of the plane, the so called Pelian rider, mean not wearing the helmet, therefore it was reduced to 26,42,960. Now, aggrieved by this, the persons that is, uh, is clear, what is his name, uh, peculiar name, Kunhi, not Kun, Kadeja Musliar. So he approached the court and ultimately High Court held that the compensation cannot be reduced uh, saying that uh, holding that uh, he has uh, contributed. No, it is only violation. So according to section 20, 129 of the MV Act, not wearing helmet is an offence but there is no connection for the accident and the need to wear a helmet so it is not at all a contributing less do you mean to say that if the if he has worn a helmet the accident would not have occurred the accident is one part of course he could have saved and his life would have been saved he did a mistake but it cannot come in the way of contribute negligence and you cannot reduce the compensation this is a good judgment by the kerala high court please read it and enrich your legal knowledge thank you very much